So Alabama loses, I think, what, six coaches? But they still got Nick Saban. And not only that, they got a sick roster coming into this year. And today I'm going to talk to you about the Alabama Crimson Tide impact players. Not only the impact players, but who could be a breakout player? And who could be the most improved player? We're going to talk about all that today. Let's get it. What's up, guys? Welcome to NMD TV. No more defeats. TV, what we do is win. Never take any losses. And shout out to all my bosses. Because if you love college football, this is the channel for you. Because I talk about college football 24-7, 365. Sometimes even when I'm asleep, I'm talking about college football because I love it, guys. And today, we're talking about the Alabama Crimson Tide, and we're talking about their impact players for next year. Now, if you've ever played NCAA, I love the game. You love the game, of course. Then you know they always give you three impact players, and that's what I'm going to do today. Pick out three players from a stacked roster that's going to make the biggest impact for the upcoming season for, for the Alabama Crimson Tide. And then I'm going to give you a breakout player of the year and a most improved player of the year. So this is um, this is something that's, that's tough because Alabama has one of the best rosters from top to bottom. So when you're naming out players, it's easy going to say, it's easy to be like, don't forget about this player. Don't forget about that player. Alabama reloads they do not rebuild they reload they got the number one class coming in they got a lot of great players to pick for but let's start right off the back with the top quarterback in the nation arguably you could debate Tua Tungavaloa he is Alabama's impact player they will go as far as as he takes them you know last year had 3,966 yards passing, 43 touchdowns, six interceptions. Many people thought he had the Heisman on lock until the SEC championship game. He goes out. Jalen Hurts comes in um, and saves the day. And that's when Kyler Murray was able, I think, to gain a little bit on him. But a lot of people thought that Tua should have been the Heisman Trophy winner. Played great all year. Like I said, 43 touchdowns. That's a single season passing school record in touchdowns in a single season. Only six interceptions. Played great. Of course, this Alabama team from last year will always be talked about how they lost to Clemson. Played great all year. Ended up losing to Clemson. And a lot of people say, hey, we got the blueprint for Tua now. Clemson gave us the blueprint. But the thing about it is everybody doesn't have Clemson's roster. So when when people say, well, you just got to get people um, in front of Tua's face and pressure them while also confusing them in the secondary, that's easier said than done. He's a great player. He is the first impact player. Who is he throwing the ball to? Jerry Judy, Judy the reigning Blitnikoff Award winner, 6'1", 192 pounds, 68 receiving yards, 1,315 yards receiving, and 14 touchdowns. This guy is a lot to be a, a top 10, if not top 15 player taken next year. Amazing receiver. Run grace routes, can separate with speed, sets you up nicely, sure hands. He's to his go-to guy. And actually, this receiving core for Alabama has several different players in it that will make a huge impact. But they're led by uh, Jerry Judy. And um, he's to he's to his go-to guy. So expect another year. We'll see if he can defend his Blitnikoff Award winner and get that, get that award back to back. Now, this third guy is a guy who I do not think gets enough credit. Who I think is if you look at him play, watch him play, moving from sideline to sideline, short tackler, uh, leadership skills, is Dylan Moses, linebacker, 86 tackles, 10 of those tackles for loss, 3.5 sacks. This guy has been a legend since the eighth grade. He was offered a scholarship from LSU, from Alabama, from all the big schools, and now it's his time to shine. 
Mac Wilson gone. Quentin Willis. Uh, Quentin Williams gone. It is Dylan Moses' time to shine. It is his defense. And last year, the defense got embarrassed in a championship game. So, people, I've, I've even heard people say the defense is slipping. Well, it's Dylan's team. It's his, I mean, it's his defense. They're going to go as far as he takes them. Defense is talented on all three levels. But Dylan Moses, look out for him. He will be the impact player on the defensive side of the ball for the Alabama Crimson Tide. So, looking at your three impact players, Tua Tungavaloa. Heisman Trophy candidate last uh, top three in the Heisman voting last year will definitely be a Heisman candidate this year unless something crazy happens. Jerry Judy, uh, defending Belitnikov award winner. And then we got the next great linebacker in the long line of linebackers for Alabama and Dylan Moses. Now, who's going to be the breakout player of the year? Now, when I talk about the breakout player of the year, I talk about a player who the fan base knows who this guy is. When I talk to Alabama Bama, Bama players, or to fans and people who follow the program, they talk about this guy all the time. But nationally, a lot of people don't know who he is. So who's going to be Alabama's breakout player of the year? That is going to be 5'10", 182-pound wide receiver, Jalen Waddle. Yes, listen, guys. I just got done talking about how good Jerry Judy is. This kid, Jalen, is amazing. Last year, 45 receptions, 848 yards, seven touchdowns. And like I said, this is a player that not a lot of people talk about. And if I told, if I asked people about Alabama's receivers, they always are going to bring up uh, Jerry Judy. But let me tell you, Jalen had an impact last year, and he will break out this year. His uh, PFF overall grade was the highest of any freshman receiver at 89.4. Had the second longest play in Alabama history with a 40 with a 94 yard catch against Louisiana Lafayette. Wasn't even his his. Uh, I mean, well, you can vote which one was the better play, but he also had I think a 60 yard punt return, which was electrifying. The guy's fun to watch, fast, get the ball in his hands. And he could be in the end zone in the blink of an eye. Jalen Waddle is going to be a breakout player for Alabama and will be nationally known after this year, if you don't already know. Now, who's going to be the most improved player? Now, several players came up because I think Alabama has a couple players that have uh, put in the work during the offseason, during spring, going into fall camp. Not only that, they need to improve for Alabama to have the success that they need. But one guy kept coming to mind, and that's 6'5", 252-pound linebacker Terrell Lewis. Now, I know he didn't play last year. And the year before that, he was hampered by injuries. His whole career, he's been hampered by injuries at Alabama. But he is the number 23 overall player in the 2016 recruiting class, right? He comes in, he has an amazing game in the national championship game a couple years back, had about seven tackles, uh, one sack, one tackle for loss in that game. In the national championship game, a lot of people was high on the guy, everybody was excited, and he's been dealing with injuries ever since. He is a great edge rusher. I think him and Anthony Williams will man the edge. He can rush the quarterback. He's a beast at rushing a quarterback. He can set the edge. He can run six, five, 252 pounds specimen. I think that is going to be your most improved player for the Crimson Tide, guys. So what do you think? Did I miss anybody? Did I put somebody out of position? Tua Tungvaloa, Jerry Judy, Dylan Moses. I'm excited about that guy. Are your impact players, Jalen Waddle, breakout player of the year. And then Terrell Lewis will be the most improved player for the Alabama Crimson Tide next season. Guys, what do you think about this? This could be a revenge season for Alabama. They had a nice roster with the number one recruiting coming, number one recruiting class 
coming in for Alabama, they should be di- dangerous. I've also been discussing Alabama football with Clint from Locked On Bama Podcast. Make sure you check that out. The video will be on the screen. Check it out. Much love. And as always, guys, no more defeats.